hello youtube welcome back to my video so in this video we are going to check how to convert a json object to a java object and a java object to a json object uh, vice versa so i uh, will be checking this one we'll be doing this one with a real-time example so we will be doing this with the help of an api called uh, jackson api which is one of uh, an api which is used to convert a json object to a java object and vice versa okay so uh, if you are googling uh, how to convert a java to json or a json to java you will come across two main terms uh, the terms are like json jackson api and the google sun or json api these two are the uh, most widely available apis or widely used apis for converting uh, the json so in this video we are going to use uh, jackson api for testing so we'll be sending an http request to a server and the server will be responding uh, with a json response and we'll pass that json response and convert it to a, a java object okay so for testing i'm going to use a web service from a website uh, the website name is ipinfodb.com so if we are uh, sending a http request with our ip address uh, this website will uh, return us or give the response in json format uh, with the location and some other basic information about that ip address okay so the uh, website name is ip info db so i'm just uh, logging in in there so this is a basically a free version you can also just sign up with this now let me log in, in with my credential this is a, a simple one uh, you can also sign up free of course so let me log in here so if you are logging in and you are signed up and logging in you will get an api key here you can see here you have an api key here so with this api key we can uh, send a request to this uh, website using http request so here it is in the ip location api you can see here we can pass a http request uh, with our api key to get the information about our ip address so i'll show you how it is now let me copy this one we are using ipv4 version so let me use this one copy this completely and if i am just pasting this one in my browser it will be an http request and it will return us uh, the information about the ip address now it's not in the uh, format of json so if we want to get the format of json you have to set a parameter named format and the response as uh, i mean the value as a uh, json so if i'm just putting it here as an ampersand format equal to json it will return me in the json form you can see here so this is my ip address and this is information about uh, my ip address the json response uh, including the ip address uh, information which we have passed so we have passed the ip address as this one let me pass my ip address so if i'm passing my ip address uh, this is my ip address now let me copy this one and uh, paste it here in the http request if i'm just entering it will return me my current ip details so uh, this is ip country version there is ip city version which will give me a uh, more information about my ip address this is the one so let me this copy this completely and uh, paste it here and uh, let me copy the format as json here and if i'm pressing enter it will return me like ip address country code country name region name city name and everything so let me give my ip address here and uh, paste it here in the same http request so let's see what are the information of my ip address here it is country is qatar and region name is doha zip code is not there and all other information is here okay now we are uh, writing a java code to get this as uh, uh, a json uh, json response in our java and we'll convert this one into a java object okay so let me go be go back to my eclipse now i'm going to create a new java project here so it's like project java project click next and the project name i am giving it as uh, json java okay i am giving it uh, is that uh, as there and all the information i am putting it in default press finish and wait for your uh, java project to to get started okay well uh, the project has been started so inside uh, the src i am going to create a new package the package name i am giving it as com.chillyfax.com 
and inside this I'm going to create a first a class so the name of the class I'm giving it as uh, JSON to Java okay so I'm just giving it as JSON to Java okay now I'm going to get the code to send the HTTP request uh, and get the JSON response from that uh, the web service that that has just shown now okay I have already written and tested that let me copy paste that one and I'll, I'll explain how it works okay. I have just copied the code to send the HTTP request so we are setting the parameter the key and the IP address here we have to set that so we'll go to the pro I mean the uh, website where we'll get our key so the key and I have to log in again so this is the key here let me copy all these key and come back to our project and paste the key here now we have to set the IP address so IP address is uh, this one now my IP address copy it and come to our project and paste it here okay now we have to import something so this is from uh, java.net The HTTP URL connection is also from java.net and the buffer reader is from uh, java.io and the input stream reader is from java.io okay so as you can see here uh, by this URL we are uh, sending uh, the uh, JSON I mean uh, the HTTP request with these two parameters set and uh, this is actually reading the output here as a response and I am just uh, printing that response as a string value uh, in my console okay so basically this will uh, send uh, the HTTP request and read the JSON response as a string here okay here is the string now uh, it's all ready to test so I have to create a main method here to test this one and I'm converting uh, changing the name of uh, the method as uh, convert JSON to Java okay I'm setting it as that one and I can call this as a static value so I'm just calling that one and there is an error yes we have there's a chance of uh, getting error we have to surround it with the try catch now let me copy this one paste it here and uh, just give the code to print the error if any okay now I think it's all set now let's try running this one now uh, to run this just right click here and just select run as Java application and uh, wait for the console output yes you can see here the console output is here now we are printing something which we don't know need here let me comment these two lines and we don't need the response code also here it is now let me run this again it will give me uh, the JSON response only okay so this is the same JSON response which we got here the country code QA is there country name region name and the longitude and latitude uh, here it is okay uh, country uh, code country name and the region name and uh, the latitude and longitude is here this is the same uh, JSON response which we got there okay now we got uh, the JSON response at string here now we'll code further to convert this one to a Java object using the Jackson API okay now uh, we need to create a bean class uh, with uh, all the variables or all the keys uh, which is available in the JSON API okay so we have all these variables in the JSON I mean the JSON response we need to create a, a bean class so I'm going to create a bean class new class and uh, I'm giving it as country bean and it should have all the values or variables uh, present in that uh, JSON response so these all are the values uh, present in that uh, JSON response so as the, this is a bean class we need the, the getters and setters for that so just go to create the getters and setters for this one okay now uh, to use the JSON API we'll have to import two jars actually so the jars for the uh, JSON API is, is that uh, this one JSON core ASL jar and JSON mapper ASL jar okay so I'll share these two in my uh, description you can have it and basically a JSON API is actually a Java class 
which is having a java class named object mapper and this object mapper is a user to convert the json to java and vice versa and this one is having uh, two methods the first method is one write value as string which can convert java object to a json and the read value can convert the, the json object uh, back to uh, I mean the JSON to a Java object. So we'll have to uh, use uh, this one first read value which can convert the JSON to a Java object. Now uh, let me add these two uh, jars to my build path. So to add to my build path, just right click on the project, go to build path and uh, select the build path, configure build path. And here you can in the library section, you can add external jars, click on add external jars and uh, just navigate to the location where you have your jars so mine is this location and add these select these two and just click open okay now these two add jars has been added to my build bar and if i'm clicking okay it will come here as the reference libraries okay now as i told uh, there is an object mapper class in the json object so we'll have to create an object mapper a class and uh, create an instance of object mapper class first so object mapper and uh, this is from uh, java yeah here it is okay i'm just imported that one and let me create an instance of that so it's like obj equals new object mapper now i can call uh, this method read value which can convert a json into a java object okay the java object is here uh, the country bean so just copy the country bean and uh, create an object of that also so object of country bean is equal to new so i have just created an object of a country bean here now we can call uh, the read value to direct and read value and uh, assign directly to uh, the country bean object so it's like read value and we have to set uh, the source source is our uh, response string now let me copy it here and uh, the value type is uh, country bean dot class okay so this is of the value type country bean dot class which is the bean class ours yes we have finally coded all the things which we need to convert the json to java and now we can print one by one values here let me uh, print all the ones so i'm just giving system dot out dot print and the first one is here it is the status code so it's like uh, status code is equals object country bean dot get status code okay now let me print all let me code to print all the values here yes we have uh, i have just uh, written all the codes to print each variable or each key value i have uh, just updated everything let me run it again and uh, in this java application here it is so all the values uh, from uh, is reading from the java object and i have just printed each and every values after converting uh, the uh, json uh, to java okay now yeah, i think uh, we are all set and explained everything now we'll go for converting a json i mean a java object to a json object okay now for that i'm going to create a new class here the class name i will give it as uh, java to json okay now let me code here let me write all the codes uh, to convert that and uh, i'll explain one by one how it how it works okay okay i have just uh, created a method here which is a main method so inside that i am just creating a country uh, country bin object and i am setting a random test values uh, to that object and uh, yes as i told uh, in the object mapper the read value is uh, to convert json into uh, java and uh, the right value is from java to json okay so we have to get uh, the object mapper uh, uh, object mapper instance first so let me uh, import this one by pressing control space and the string writer also we need from a uh, java dot io dot string writer and uh, yes we have to put in try catch because uh, there is a chance of getting exception so let me 
didn't try guess that one completely here till here and I just print the value if there is any error okay now uh, this object we are using this object mapper instance to get uh, write the value or this one as uh, uh, the or country bin object to a JSON object I be a string writer now we can directly print uh, the JSON of that this particular object from here okay now let's try uh, running this one I think we are all set and there won't be any error for running just right click and just select run as java application here it is we can see here all uh, uh, the J java object has been completely converted into json object so let me copy this one and uh, let's try viewing this one from browser format json online so this is the json formatter just to see it uh, in a good way now just paste your complete json and just click format and here it is this is a, a sample version just like this one a sample version of uh, uh, the one which we have created the object status code status message is the message which i given here and all of this are perfectly uh, correct which i i give here okay so that's all for now how you can convert a java a json into a java object and java into a json object there are many many more features in, in the jackson api so i'll uh, i'll show one one of that so here we can see here i am just uh, creating uh, the json uh, uh, i am just converting the json string to a java object and if if i need to uh, if i need to skip any of the the keys or any of the parameters let's say i don't want uh, uh, the time zone in my uh, java object so what i can do is i can go to the country bean and uh, I can just use an annotation like uh, JSON ignore okay so if I'm selecting the JSON ignore annotation now if I'm uh, writing this one and if I'm running this one it won't be generating at the timestamp it will be null okay you can see here I mean the time zone is null but in the response you can see time zone is came here but in the object the time zone is null here which means that one we have ignored it okay so th like this there are many other uh, annotation i am not going to explain every everything you can see here these all are having different functionalities i i, I am not checking I, I didn't check all the all that i just only I checked this one only so that's all for now about uh, this uh, uh, how to do conversions in java and json if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you i'll share all the source code and required uh, jars in my description you can have it and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching